Jason McKay says he stabbed Jenny twice in the neck with a dagger. He says that he did so after hearing a low growling voice saying, kill her, she has no heart. Jason told court he had several blackouts that night in September 2017, but he says that he does remember Jenny in black clothing and a black cloak wielding a jagged dagger. He says he remembers the voices and a woman entering his home saying DOA. The Crown Prosecutor asked Jason if this version of events had just come to him within the last week because, as heard earlier in the trial, it's very different from what he told police officers immediately after his arrest. We heard that Jason said in the police car, I killed her. I know I'm charged with murder. She's dead. Later in formal interviews with police, he spoke about Jenny wielding a steak knife, but there was no mention of hallucinations, cloaks or daggers. Jason maintains that he cannot remember much of what happened in the hours before and after her death. He blamed a combination of antidepressants and alcohol. A pharmacology expert testified this afternoon about how much McKay said he had to drink before Jenny's death and how that would have interacted with the medication in his system. He says that this combination could have have led to amnesia and he also says that McKay might not have realized the consequences of his actions. This expert will be cross-examined by the Crown Prosecutor tomorrow. Kendall Latimer, CBC News, Regina.